Hi and welcome to Neat AI. So in this installment of the Boyd series, I've extended the code to allow multiple flocks to form, introduce hazards for them to avoid, added predators to give chase, and included adjustable field of view for both types of Boyds to better reflect the worldview these creatures might have. This builds on the earlier work which took the basic code from the Ben Eater application to create the first version. The key main functions he outlines are short and easy to follow and map to the original components quite well. Having seen the concept of multiple flocks implemented in someone else's code, I decided to include them in my own setup. Now a Boyd of course is just a set of XY coordinates with a shape drawn around them and delta X and Y values to capture the movement which will occur on the next game frame. And these values are calculated from the coherence, separation and alignment functions and are summed together to provide the final values for the move. Now I managed to get through the last video without mentioning the V word, but of course this line here has both a direction and a magnitude and if we need to put a label on that we'd call it the bird's velocity, which is of course a vector. And as that velocity changes over time, well we'd call that its acceleration. So first up is flocks, and to implement this I simply extend the Boyd info to include a flock ID. When a Boyd is initialized, then in addition to randomized coordinates and deltas, it also gets randomly assigned to a flock. Each flock has its own color, so when they get drawn on the screen, you get this. So far so good, but of course now I want the flock ID to do something other than just have a different color. To get birds of a feather to flock together, I need to add it as a filter to the coherence function. So in addition to the visual range setting, I'll add another condition which requires that the boys be of the same flock before a coherence vector can be calculated. So let's see what that looks like. Next up is the separation function. No change is required here as I want them to be able to avoid all birds regardless of the flock they're in. Just as you see in nature, they aren't picky about what they don't fly into. And for alignment, again we'll add another condition which restricts alignment to birds of the same flock. Currently the boys have 360 degree radar which probably isn't realistic as it means they know what's happening directly behind them. This is why they can form these tight clusters as they all fight to be in the center of a group they know everything about. So I decided to give myself the ability to narrow their field of view by adding a slider to allow me to drop it from a full 360 view all the way to zero, effectively blinding them. When I switch this on and give each boy a narrow field of view it starts to break up the cluster as they now can't see everyone bringing it right down and playing around with the other sliders and I can get them to string out into long trains. This is the same as the behavior seen elsewhere and to get the boys to do this you do need to be able to adjust the field of view. Next is object avoidance, so I want to be able to click anywhere in the map and insert an object for the boys to avoid. All I'm doing is adding an XY location to an array and plotting a circle around it. I've then created a function which asks each Boyd if it can see that object and if it can then it should get a vector component which turns it away. And this new function does exactly the same as the coherence function except instead of using the average position of a group of Boyds it uses the object's position and instead of flying towards something it flies away. The strength of the object avoidance vector is also adjustable by a slider Set it too high and it acts like a force field, repelling anything that comes too close. Playing around with these settings gives different types of behaviors. It's a bit like baking a cake, a dash of coherence, a smidge of separation, a sprinkling of alignment, and you can get the boys to interact in different ways. And then we're on to adding some predators. These are just another flock that's added to the mix 
but with their own coherence, separation, and alignment settings. I add a predator role to the Boyd info and color them red. Whether or not a Boyd is a predator is a random operation, with about 15% of the population being chosen for this role. Now it's set so that a predator wants to join any flock except its own flock. So the predator coherence setting controls that. This is different from all other boys as all they want to do is join their own flock and will ignore the others. And that's why you'll see the predators giving chase. The other boys, when they detect a nearby predator, will move strongly away from them using the avoid others routine, but with a conditional statement which makes the avoidance factor much higher. And for alignment, which is covered by the match velocity function, birds of a feather will attempt to align with others in their flock, unless of course you're a predator, in which case, they'll attempt to align with other non-predators they can see. The template for behavior I was going for is shown here, which is an example I found on the net. And if I play with the controls and settings, it gets pretty close. Well, that was fun. And at this stage, I thought I was done with the boys. But then I noticed this comment here on the original site. So it's time to stick a neural net on a sheepdog and see if I can train it to herd boys. So that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching. Thank you.